So hypnosis is actually traditionally <laughs> used differently than how I use it. It's normally used to reprogram your mind to another way of being that you think should be better. But that thought is a conscious one. It's an intellectual thought that is not actually fed by a deeper wisdom that's available. If you're watching this, you're likely someone who has tried everything in the pursuit for happiness. Perhaps even everything in the pursuit for spiritual growth and development as well. Perhaps you've tried everything from new age crystals and pendulums, auric cleansings and past life readings. Perhaps you've moved through that to shamanic healings, sweat lodges, maybe fasts and cleanses. Maybe you've gone through that to yoga and meditation, silent retreats and other experiential types of workshops. Or perhaps you've sought out a guru or a teacher of some kind and maybe you're also an avid reader and researcher with a daily sadhana practice. And maybe you've come across a lot of the latest and greatest tools for transformation and change, for peace and happiness. Or maybe you've been to a hypnotherapist that stuck a tape on and told you to close your eyes and all will be well and fixed when you wake up. <laughs> and so you still feel unbalanced, unhappy, stuck, confused, blocked. Maybe you're just one of these ones that have become incredibly weary, wondering where the answer to eternal happiness and bliss actually lays. Perhaps you're even starting to lose hope. But you know what? You'll only hear the answer that will truly serve you when someone says it in a way you're ready to hear it. And that kind of guidance can only come from deep within yourself. You know, as invaluable as teachers are, and I am so grateful for mine. But in the end, what really matters is your ability to connect to the wisdom of your own inner guidance system. That's the only teacher that will speak your truth to you. Yeah, hypnosis is not traditionally used for connecting to the soul. Instead, it has been used to manipulate your mind to another way of being that you hope will be better. But hear this. You cannot, you simply cannot override the deeper power of your inner teacher. This part of you incarnated with a specific blueprint for a specific form of manifestation. And it's on a one track path to do that. The best thing you can do, really, is learn how to hear it. And then build the courage and the conviction and the trust to lean in, let go and act upon it regardless of what other people think or say about it. Hypnosis in the way I use it becomes an incredibly powerful tool then for accessing this deeper wisdom and for opening up into the immortal intelligence of your soul. Your soul is that part of you that moves from lifetime to lifetime through the vehicle of the body. Without accessing this wisdom, and first hearing this depth of intelligence, you will never rewire your limiting beliefs and patterns. And no matter what you do, you will stay stuck in your old limiting ways, wondering when the answer to life's conundrum will come to you. Accessing the depth of your soul, your inner teacher, your own inner teacher, is therefore an, is an essential step. And it's an essential step that many a hypnotherapist will skip over. Because they just don't know how to do it. But when you connect to this part of you, it will call you to hear the wisdom that it communicates through your nervous system. It will communicate to you through the way you feel. 
you know when something's a little off. You know when something doesn't feel quite right. You know when something's not quite you. You know when it's someone else's idea, someone else's ringing of the bell. It's not your ringing of the bell. Therapy with soul is really hard to find. But therapy without soul just doesn't work. Once you can perceive your nervous system as your soul communicating with you, then you're onto something transformational, something that will actually work. In the pages of malahypnotherapy.com, you'll find much information about the connection between the soul and manifesting the life you were born to live. But mark my words, reading about it isn't going to connect you to it. You have to learn how to do it for yourself. And this is where I can come in. This is powerful inner work, which I carry out via deeply transformational sessions over Skype from anywhere in the world, as long as you've got an internet connection. <laughs> Together, though, you and I can use that which is blocking you and holding you back as a portal into your deeper nature, into your soul self. So whether it's anxiety or depression or emotional imbalances or addictive behaviors that are holding you back, or, or maybe it's thought patterns or just general negative tendencies that keep blocking you from moving forward. All of these things are just grip for the mill. You know, that which triggers you and all the ways in which you are triggered, they're all your allies in disguise. So you start acting out to get your own attention and, and once you have your own attention, though, that is when we can use the exploratory nature of hypnosis to rewire the programming of your subconscious mind that's no longer serving you. Once you start acting out enough to get your own attention, that's when you're in a constructive phase of discontent. That's where I can step in. But the rewiring cannot happen until you access the teacher within. So the first step is to get really bugged with yourself, really annoyed and just fed up. And the next step is to access the teacher within. And until you access this part of you that has lived many more lifetimes than this one, nothing will really change on a permanent basis because you won't really fully get it yet. So this is the part of you that is wise beyond your current years. It's the part of you that has access to that specific blueprint that it's incarnated to manifest. And when you lean in and let go and trust this part of you, you'll then move you from where you are to where you need to be in order to create and manifest that life that you came here to. So if you're not already there, go to malahypnotherapy.com and sign up for my tips and inspirations newsletter. You never know. One idea at just the right time could really change everything. And you can also get a free self-hypnosis mp3 download called Being You, which will help open the gates to your own authentic wisdom. When you open these gates, you can really dive in. Live the best life ever.